Wow. Aye. Aye. Wow. That is wonderful. Aye. Amazing. This is Michael Stacky here Aye. with us. Listen, I made it to JC. Wow. Oh, you made it here. I made it here. Wonderful. Aye. We are so glad to have you here with us. God so bless you. So excited that you made it. God bless you. I am God so excited you to be here. Wonderful. So you have performed to uh, two, is it three amazing songs ah. that you've done? What really inspires you? What Michael? inspires me is to release a sound in the earth mm -hmm. and to be able to take people from the dark place to the light, mm -hmm. to be able to take people from um, healing, from yeah. depression to healing, okay. from well, um, poorness to wealth. I want you to yes, face I, this I, camera, I, yes. What motivates me is to be able to change mm. generations that are to follow me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah Wonderful, yes. and you're doing just that. And you've been, you know, ministering for the longest time and people's life have been inspired. Yes. Wonderful, is it the first time that you're coming to Kenya? Or no, you've been here I, my name is Kamal. <laughs> 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 I am from Abasa, <laughs> the land of cassava chips. Wow. I am from there. No, I am. I serve here. Uh -huh. I serve the awesome, the wonderful, the prophetess Teresa Rarimu. Mm -hmm. So I've been under her covering for many years now, and she is my mom. Uh -huh. But I also come here because I have literally so seed in the ground, mm -hmm. changing generations. And we have Stucky Fragrance is, is, is in, in Nairobi, Kenya. Mm -hmm. But I came here because I have new music that is from this land, the uh -huh. Swahili music. Ooh. And yes, yes, so I released a new album called Amos 9, and one of the greatest songs on this album mm -hmm. was called Yesua Wastahili, Wastahili by our yeah. brother Boaz. I took it, added my flavor to it, added that drip, 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 mm -hmm. and listen, God just sealed it with his anointing, so. Yeah. Truly, truly, and we get to hear you perform that later on as yes. we close with that. Yes, yes, yes. But what inspired you to sing in Swahili? Why Swahili? I sing in six languages. You do. I sing in uh, Zulu, Tree, mm -hmm. Kukuyu. I sing in um, uh, Yoruba and Igbo. Uh, I sing all six languages. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you understand these languages or you just have an interest in so them? So I write songs in languages. Now, speaking of dialogue di back and forth, I, it's going to take me some classes. <laughs> it's going to take me to come here, go to Mombasa, uh -huh. put my feet in the white sand, and, and get my little, little my chapati, mm -hmm. and be able to take some classes. Somebody got to teach me, right? Okay. Uh, because when you look at Swahili, it uh -huh. looks like the whole alphabet. Gaiwa, kwa gaiwa, kwa ye. Gaiwa, you got, uh, yeah, well, Swahili, but you, it just looks long. It looks, long. <laughs> it looks so long. So uh -huh. I got to learn how to break it down. But I love um, uh -huh. being able to tap into another man's culture. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what they did in the upper room. So I literally write songs in mm -hmm. these languages and literally connect with all of Africa. I am the son of Africa. Mm, uh -huh. Truly. The, the <laughs> true son of Africa. Singing in six languages is no joke. Yeah, and yeah. those are all African languages. All African yeah. languages. We, we appreciate that, that uh, you have so much love for Africa. Tell me about, um, today we're discussing about contentment and, um, you know, for many people um, who go through hard times, it's hard for them to be contented. They wonder, why has God uh, placed me in this place? Or acceptance, you know, people want to change how they are and, mm -hmm. you know, to please other people or due to pressure. So because you are a minister and you've, you know, through your songs, you've preached about love, you've preached mm -hmm. about faith. Mm -hmm. Now you tell us about this particular um, topic that we're discussing. But the Bible said, for the mm. race is not given to the swift, but to the one that endured to the end. It's not how fast you get there. It's as long as you get to your destination. Mm -hmm. I wrote a book years ago, and it's called 35 Black and Not Married. And in my book, and we talk about relationships, that some people want to take a speedboat to the next relationship. But I'd rather take a rowboat because I am facing my past and rowing into my future. What mm -hmm. God is doing with you right now, he's, he's shaping you, he's molding you. You may see others excelling, but this is the hour where he actually being able to mold you to become pure like gold. And when he puts you out there, no man can shut a door that God opens. Mm -hmm. And I declare unto your life, those who are watching, that this is a season, but your due season is near. Mm -hmm. Do not give up. Do not give in. Don't throw in a towel. Yes. You must keep your mind on about Christ, and he will be the one be able to open the door for you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amazing. What an encouragement. Amen. I'm sure that has blessed someone. Um, for you, have you ever been in a season? Because 
when people see you, they see all the, the glow and shine ah. and everything. Ah. But have you ever been in a season where um, you have said, like what Paul said, that is in Philippians 4, mm. 11 to 13, uh, not that I was ever in need for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with Ooh. everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is in full stomach or empty, mm -hmm. with plenty or little. For I can do everything th through Christ who gives me strength. There was a season, mm -hmm. and this is a true story because y'all want to see the authentic Michael Stuckey. Y'all want to see him. I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. There were so many ministers. Do not be deceived, mm -hmm. that, but God is a reward to those who diligently seek him. I came to Kenya in a season mm -hmm. before where I was all the way from the United States of America, and I had $13.25 in my account. That is 1,300 wow. kilo shillings. Now I'm from the U.S. In oh, Nairobi, Kenya, uh -huh. with $13. But I trusted God with everything. Mm -hmm. Before I got home, look at your neighbor said, before I got home. Oh, before there I got home. Miracle signs and wonder. Why? Because God, I gave God back his word that you said you would never leave me nor forsake me. You are the rewarder to those who diligently seek him. I oh. said, God, you must provide all my need because you are Jehovah Jireh. Mm. There have been seasons where you are in your valley experience. But understanding when you are in your valley experience, you have no other way. But and that's a good posture to be in because you have no way but mm. to look up. And when God take you up, guess what? That you can see glory to glory to glory to mm. glory. But I've been where you've been at. Thirteen dollars and twenty-five cents, one thousand three hundred and forty-five shillings mm. in my account, and I'm seven thousand miles away. Wow. But I trusted God that He said I will be with you, mm -hmm. and He was with me. Yeah. Wow. wow! I mean, that is true faith. Yes, true trusting faith. God to His word. True his Word. That he will do what he said yes, he will do. He will. Amazing, amazing. That's very encouraging. And through your journey um, as a minister, what makes you stick for God? What makes you remain true to the calling? Be the Bible said also, what makes me, I'm just going to tell you, what makes me, that we all are fishermen of men. Mm -hmm. Some people have grace for stadiums. Some people have grace for the village. And, but you must be happy with the lane that God can do with you. Mm. One can chase a thousand, but two could put 10,000 to fight. Mm -hmm. And what God has aligned for your life, can't nobody do it better than you. Mm -hmm. And what keeps me motivated is that I am a United States artist, but I have been to Africa more than a lot of the ministers in, in, the, in the United States. Mm -hmm. 39 times I wow. have been to Africa. Mm -hmm. I sing in six languages. Africa has adopted me, have accepted me as a son. When I tell you this, yes. to be able to tap into another man's uh, 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 culture is something special. Not too many people can do that. May this season, God open door. May you become the embassy Amen. where you can go anywhere in the world in the next 20 days or 40 days, whatever you decree and declare, mm -hmm. it shall come to pass. Amen. 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 This word is for you. If you're it's watching this, this is for you. And I want you to tell us about your song, the latest that you have released in your album. Um, that is Yesu Astahi. I call our brother Boaz from Tanzania, y'all. Yes. Listen, he's so humble, but he writes powerful songs. I said, man of God, I want to do this song in English. Mm -hmm. I want to do it. I want to add a little um, twist on it. He said, yes, please, 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 please. Mm -hmm. So I went into my prayer closet and I created a sound. It's called Yesu Astahi. Mm -hmm. It means you give God the glory and the honor. Mm -hmm. And I declare it on your life. Give him glory and honor. Honor, he will come for it. For you. For you. Wonderful. Yeah. Amazing. And we want you to perform it before we hey, close the show. Hey, I would show. love to. Would love awesome. To. Awesome. So DJ, please take it away. We appreciate you once more. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. We appreciate you. We order you. And uh, let's enjoy this performance. Ah. Uh -huh.